now we're going to start a uh, a new little mini section of videos, which is we're, we're going to aptly call my first dungeon, because hopefully this will be your first dungeon. <laughs> Welcome back to learning how to roll 20 with me, Zangmac. Uh, obviously, we've gone through the basics uh, of the, the tools uh, over here and the, uh, the previous videos. So if you've not watched those yet, it's probably a good idea that you should uh, have a little look at those and familiarize yourself with the, the basic elements. Anyway, where you want to do, where, where you want to start even is to open up your roll 20. You'll be confronted with a page that may or may not look something similar to this. Although this is my page, because clearly this is the one that I've created, and not the one you'll be looking at, because that'll be the one that you've created. Fantastic. Up at the top right hand of your screen here, you can see this little blue button here. It's called the Page Toolbar. Uh, and it literally lets you look at the pages in a handy little to uh, toolbar that pops right down there. It's almost like they know how to name things, because they do exactly what they say on the labels. Fantastic. Um, so... What you want to do is you want to click on create your uh, create a new page and it will create a blank untitled document. Now, I've gone ahead and uh, done this already, so I'm just going to delete this because I've already done this part. And uh, what you do is you'll click on the text there and you'll type in my first dungeon or, you know, whatever you want to do with the correct capitalization because I'm a moron apparently and can't do this probably myself. So, once you've done that, you want to hover over your... Uh, your page and look at the little cogwheel up here which says page settings guess where that's gonna take us okay so in here you're looking at some there's a, there's a fair bit of information but to be fair you only need to worry about a few different things so um for the first map i want you to set your page size to 35 by 35 um you want to enable your grid uh you want to change your background to black this is personal preference you may find that others work but i'm going to go through how i do things further down here it depends on which uh, type of account you have, but you should have dynamic lighting enabled. You should be able to enforce line of sight. You want to update on drop, you want to restrict movement and ignore global illumination because we're going to be playing with all the toys. These things are kind of a moot point when you, uh, when you don't have a slightly upgraded package, I'm afraid. We'll probably do a video later on where we cover more in depth about what to do if you're on the basic package. So, once you've set your settings to 35 feet, 5 feet per square, black background, grid enabled, and ticked all these boxes here, click OK. And what we're going to do is we'll look at that very, very quickly and look, oh, I've put some text here, because this is my first dungeon. It's probably a good idea to set yourself up with a page border. Now, we, uh, we set a page border up here uh, purely to keep things very simple. We do a lot of maps for... Uh, for on screen games and things like that and this is this is just a good practice to get into so I'm going to select the polygon line tool from the toolbar up here and select a color that's appropriate for uh, for you it's, it's again this is personal preference I like to do my borders in blue so that I can do all my scre uh, sketching in pink uh, so I'm counting five squares diagonally from this corner one two three four five and then you want to click in the lower right hand corner just one click that's all it needs and then you scoot all the way across to the other side and count in five from the opposite corner. One, two, three, four, five. And then you click in the bottom left and look, <gasps> we've got a line. And then keep doing this in the other corners. One, two, three, four, five. And another one over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then you literally connect these corners up together. Now, usually you might have noticed there it faded the line color slightly. That means that it's completed a, uh, the you know you're back to the starting point, and it's uh, it should have defaulted that that's you done with that particular thing. Now it, you can also just press Escape just to be sure, and that will also finish off that tool, and you are ready to get going to the next level. So uh, thank you very much for watching. This is setting up your first dungeon, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next topic. Take it easy, guys, and as always, if it's easy, take it twice. The world will never be the same without him. He was a son of a bitch, but he was yours. Your friend, a curious kid named Instagram, thought your dear departed friend was hilarious. Used to write down every word he said, worship the ground he walked on, kept notes and everything. Just hearing his name was enough to make poor Facebook twitch. Facebook and he never got along, arguing constantly all the time, inescapable those two, like cats and dogs. It never ended. Twitter was always the apple of his eye. She was the songbird that fueled his muse. 
never really managed to get through to him that she was no good, that her never-ending gifts and advice were just distracting him from the people that mattered. Of course, you met yourself, not that you could ever bring yourself to tell him that. You stand now over the altar of Game Wisp, right behind his house. You drop his phone to the ground, smeared with the blood sacrifice you knew the demons you were about to summon would demand the moment you called them up from the black depths of hell. You know what comes back might not even be your friend. <laughs> the twin demons like and subscribe giggle at you. You still want to go through with this? What do you do?